Are you coming to Africa to photograph wildlife? Are you a South African that loves wildlife photography? Do you want to join the mirrorless movement? The perfect combination lens for you to use is the 100-400 RF f5.6 to f8. I'm Andrew Averley, professional photographer and specialist wildlife landscape and nature guide based in South Africa. The reason I'm only doing this review now on the 100-400 RF is because of the Canon R7. That paired with the 100-400 is going to be an incredible lens camera combination for wildlife photographers in South Africa and as far as I'm concerned worldwide. So the first question I asked myself when uh, I got this lens, how's it going to bear up to Canon stalwart EF 100-400 F4.5 to F5.6 Mark II. It's an incredible piece of glass that uh, paired with my 7D2 was permanently in my bag. All I can tell you is I was concerned and there was no need for it. This lens is an incredible build might not be as weather sealed as the L lens but the image quality is spectacular. As always the most important thing for me uh, is to actually show you the type of images you can get and the quality. So I'm going to take you over to the studio and we're going to go through a couple of images that I've taken with this lens uh, over the last several months here in South Africa in the Greater Kruger area, the Sabi Sands, the Timbavati, uh, and a few other game reserves in and around the low felt. So here we are in studio. Um, as you can see, I have an image open here in Lightroom. Uh, just to um, explain what I've done is I have taken the in-camera JPEGs that uh, I shoot uh, when testing equipment uh, with some basic settings, uh, the sharpness set on five and a little bit of saturation and contrast plus one. And um, I have imported them into Lightroom just for the ease of use to show you and to have the settings at the top left corner for you to look at. So uh, the first shot here is a uh, leopard in a tree with a kill. I used this shot, uh, shot against strong backlight. As you can have a look, um, yeah, pin sharp. Um, shutter speed was only 1 500th, but still a very good clear image. I've taken a portrait of a leopard, also um, F8, you'll see most of my shots at F8, and the detail is um, pretty spectacular. Also one of the more challenging environments shooting uh, with cameras in South Africa is using uh, spotlight at night for predators in some of the reserves, and as you can see here, um, again, incredibly sharp. Good detail, good contrast, crispy image. Backlighting here with this line. So um, exposure was plus three, still pretty good. And obviously if you take these images into your preferred um, editing suite, you won't have a problem. Uh, you can push these um, to a lot more. I just use DPP as it's the best way to show you the actual quality of a digital file out of a camera can, a Canon camera. People photography also is our tracker. You can see the detail here, absolutely incredible. And for those that say there's no bouquet at f8, um, yeah, there's the depth of field, pretty good. I really like that. Also, fun family group. You get everybody in focus when you shoot at... Uh, uh, further away with it. Uh, here you can see I'm at f6.3. So a uh, really great crispy image with a nice background and the uh, subject is separated. Macro photography. This is a giant plated lizard. Uh, we find them a lot in the bush felt here in South Africa. Purposely overexposed this shot um, to see what the focusing would do on the R5 and it's still crisp, sharp and clear. Uh, no issues at all with the uh, camera itself or the image. I love shooting silhouettes. Um, this is a picture of my sister-in-law. Uh, this was a weekend where she overcame a battle with cancer and um, yeah, a really special time. So use the moment to capture a great uh, portrait image of her with a silhouette. Some young lions. Again. Incredible sharpness, one one thousandth of a second, ISO 3200. 
You can also use it for wider angle uh, at 100 millimeters. This was a nice sort of environmental shot of our lodge and we've got a lovely little kitty cat down on the front lawn. Bird photography, uh, with the focal length we're a little bit limited at 100 to 400 on a full frame, but uh, as I said, going onto the crop sensor of the R7, it's going to be an incredible lens. Um, and again here, yeah, just using DPP, there's a lot of detail left to use, but uh, DPP is just a raw converter, so uh, don't judge the edited images, I just wanted to show you the straight out of camera images with the picture style attached. Really cool silhouette again, lovely color tones, uh, lovely sharpness, and uh, focus was great. Some fun, um, the Roger Rabbit lady, uh, if you've seen the movie you'll enjoy it. And also pretty much cool macro type stuff, this is a Flapnik chameleon, chameleon shot at night with a uh, spotlight, manual exposure, and you can see pretty good, pretty sharp, pretty clean. Birds in flight, really nice, uh, sharp, crisp images at f8 when you use a high enough shutter speed. Very interesting sighting with two male lions, um, not often seen. Uh, they actually uh, imitate mating with the one at the back being more dominant over the other one. And using the f8, great depth of field to get them both in focus with enough separation and the background. Young leopard cub walking straight at us. Again, just a converted raw photo. Pin, pin shop. Wider angle stuff. Um, this is shot at 1 250th. I should have had it slightly faster. Uh, it's not as crisp and clear as I want to. So you have to still manage um, your settings and exposure over this distance. And it was the heat haze of the day, but all in all, still a great image and pretty much salvageable with some sharpening techniques and additional post-processing. Lovely little bird, nice and sharp, very calm, very relaxed, a lot of detail in the eye and the feathers. Panning, one of my favorites, is a little elephant um, as shot. This has got a lot of potential for editing, for little selective sharpening and so on, but overall a great image to start with. Another young leopard up in a tree, very cool. Um, again, nice exposure, nice time of day. There's a lot of shadow, uh, so I had to overexpose, but the detail is all still there in the, uh, in the image. Not so easy exposure, um, not a common bird here in the Kruger National Park, is a long-crested eagle. And um, yeah, I tried to just get as much as the eagle in, in, in focus as possible, and I really like this one. Again, another silhouette, pin pin sharp, underexposing, lots of detail, no issue with the focusing or the speed of the lens. Some bird photos, beautiful morning light, side lighting, lots of detail. Don't forget you can also do a spot of macro with the focusing distance is not too bad. And the detail is pretty cool in this golden orb, and golden orb spider. A little bit of macro, um, depth of field or was pretty good, um, but the speed of this little bug was too much for the uh, camera and shutter speed, so uh, yeah, not much success in getting it sharp, but the whole aim was to show you the um, flowers, and then also the incredible bouquet at the back with the depth of field. Heat haze is sometimes a problem in Africa, but uh, as you can see here, um, elephant, uh, this was at 400 millimeters. You can see the heat haze in the background, but nice detail and pretty sharp with him strolling down the road. Beautiful sharp landscapes, crisp, clear. This is a baobab tree. Really like this environmental shot in the northern reaches of the Kruger National Park. Focus and detail, um, bouquet, all of the above uh, did really well with this line. Birds in flight, uh, bigger birds you can get away with slower shutter speeds like this at 1 800th and ISO 400, underexposed because of the whites on the wings, but really nice and sharp. Landscapes again, this is a compact landscape at 400 millimeters. Um, it is to the west of the Kruger in an area called uh, Mpumalanga, and this is the panorama route. Wild dogs, one of my favorites in Kruger. I uh, just snapped this quick portrait. 
one two hundredth of a second and you can see it's absolutely incredibly sharp lovely depth of field great bouquet um, and the f8 helps me a lot with the main area in focus virtual's kukul in the rain um, just a, a nice shot to show you that you can get a nice sharp bird image even though it's very uh, thick vegetation, there's still a little bit of separation in the background with the shallow depth, shallower depth of field. Another large format landscape at 100 millimeters. Um, I love this one. Uh, in a storm, just the horizon with the trees, everything really great and sharp. African buffalo, nice side portrait, crisp, clean, nice and sharp. Even at one hundredth of a second, the ibis. Uh, in the R6 helping with this 100-400 to get a nice sharp shot. Arbus uh, slow shutter speed here one tenth of a second to get motion in the water and then to freeze the subject. Um, still needs a little bit of selective sharpening but way way impressive straight out of camera. Pouring rain, uh, some ellies, you can see the raindrops. Uh, no issues with weather sealing and image quality is pretty spectacular. All round depth of field, lovely. Nice, sharp, and crisp. You can also use um, selective focusing when you find a subject you know, frame within a frame type thing. I love the sharpness and how this came out with a saddle built stalk. Telling a story at 100 millimeters with this Stenbuck. Um, really nice and sharp, and good separation with the background and depth of field. Pouring rain. Uh, some white rhinos in the Kruger. These uh, have been dehorned, obviously, to poaching. Their horns are slowly growing back, but really nice sighting in the pouring rain, and the lens did very well. Abstract stuff, shooting uh, grass, and um, having some fun with the light. Just nice, crisp, and sharp image. Early morning bird, just singing along, and really nice, sharp. Again, Good focusing, not slow, any of the above. This is a good shot at ISO 12800. You can see pretty clean. Um, it's a kudu with uh, some ox pickers on it at pre-dawn light. Really, really beautiful image. Soft colors and pastel tones. Oh, sorry about that. Here we have uh, African lion. Uh, beautiful early morning light. Sharp contrast, sharp focus, just, yeah, really nice. Very beautiful sighting I experienced um, in the Kruger National Park with a leopard crossing a river. I have used this one because it's one of my favorites. And crystal clear, pin sharp. You can see at the angle, shallow depth of field wasn't an issue. And F8 did the job. I mean, sorry, let's go back there. Uh, that was f5.6. So I was zoomed out all the way to 100 millimeters. So even at f5.6, still a great uh, quality image. Sun shining through the um, thicket here on this beautiful leopard at sunset. ISO 1250, 1 320th of a second. Pin, pin sharp. Crystal clear, lovely image. And I'm a sucker for backlighting and rim lighting. This is an, a really beautiful image of a simple subject in the Kruger, a, uh, an Impala. African wildcat, not domestic. Um, very very uh, rare animal to photograph nocturnally. We were very fortunate with the sighting and I really enjoyed this uh, picture. And at 6,400, uh, nice and sharp, good balance, good depth of field. Sunrise in, in the low felt, in the bush felt in South Africa, uh, wider angle, compact, really nice. Batulia, flying short-tailed eagle, really nice image. And then the last one here is an environmental shot with uh, an elephant. So all in all for me, an incredibly vers versatile lens and um, paired with the uh, R7, it's going to be uh, a game changer for a lot of photographers. Thanks very much. I hope you enjoy the rest of the uh, lens review. So there you have it. Um, I hope I've shown you what is possible with the Canon RF 100 to 400 f 5.6 to f 8. I hope you'll add it to your bag. Of course, if you'd like to test it in South Africa or in the bush with me, you can check down below. There's all the details for my training and safaris. 
And if you don't mind, please like and subscribe. And if you know anybody else that might enjoy this or is trying to make a decision on joining the mirrorless movement, let them have a look at this review or even drop me a message below. Thanks very much, guys. Stay safe out there. Keep chasing the light.